NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Hot, hot, and more hot. <laughs> However, you have some interesting weekend plans. Hey, the boat invite didn't come in. Okay. I didn't get one either. I didn't either, and Killington is open. So you know what that means, superstar, super shorts. Not to hike, folks. Yeah, not, not to, to hike. Not to mountain bike either. Shorts, t-shirt, and slush. This drone video is actually taken today. Look at how many people are, oh, let me go backwards there. I'm going to show you that again. <laughs> Hold on one second. I think it's coming back. There it is. You just got to see how many people are actually still enjoying the snow. It's coming here in three seconds from the top of the lift. The head wall still has not melted out, so you don't have to hike there at the top, at least not today. We'll see how long that snow lasts, but still pretty impressive edge to edge coverage there. So. That'll be interesting this weekend. Their goal is usually Memorial Day weekend on that trail. Speaking of Memorial Day weekend, this is our Church Street camera. The banner is up on Church Street for the Vermont City Marathon in Relay. We will be covering that. That's a super exciting thing for us Sunday morning of Memorial Day weekend. Looks pretty good at this point. We'll show you that on the 10 day. It's 79 right now in Burlington, but the wind is pretty stiff out of the south. It's bringing in the milder air and also the more humid weather for tonight. So when you compare now to tomorrow morning, I think it'll feel totally different when you step out early tomorrow. And we're keying in on a line of storms tomorrow afternoon. Could be severe. And on Sunday, there's still a chance for some storms, but it might be that later tomorrow ends up being the more active period. That's how the modeling is looking right now. There's some thunder there up in northern Michigan had a tornado today in that direction. So the cold front is still working its way through. It won't come through here till later Sunday. So until that happens, it warms up, turns more humid, and the storm chance increases. So 70s to low 80s right now. If you're wondering about the water temperature, it is 57. But just remember, this report comes from the shoreline in Burlington. So you go a little ways out. It could still be upper 40s in the mid part of the lake. So it's kind of dangerous still to be swimming for a while. And uh, here's Futurecast showing the dry start to tomorrow. Any low clouds will burn off. Turns out nice for a while and hot. But then by 2 o'clock, that's when the, the storm potential pops up in northern New York. And they are really, really fast moving. Look at 3 o'clock. It's right over the lake. And then by 4 out in the Northeast Kingdom. So this is the kind of day when you really have to pay attention to the western sky. You don't want to be caught outside or certainly in the middle of the lake with those coming through. And it's so humid Saturday night that even at 1230 in the morning Sunday, it could be thundering and lightning and pouring for a little while. That's all before the front comes through Sunday afternoon. And you see here some stuff bubbles up on Sunday, but it just doesn't seem quite as organized as what we might have later tomorrow. Either way, both days the chance is there and the drier part of both Saturday and Sunday will be in the morning. So 92 tomorrow, 88 on Sunday, and then it's chilly for Monday of next week with 60s. We've got 60s tonight, in fact, for the lows. Might not even get far south of 70 in Burlington. And that impact weather icon for both Saturday and Sunday, damaging wind the main concern with any line of storms that comes through. And then after we cool off, we've got kind of a chilly week next week. But we have the marathon in view and Memorial Day on the far right of the 10 day. Right now it looks like 70s and dry, which would be Amazing. We'll watch it though. Stu, Alice.